In this video, we're going to talk about marginal cost and marginal profit and marginal revenue. So let's suppose that you had a factory that makes X widgets per month. And the cost of making X widgets per month is given by the formula 22,000 plus 7X. You can think of that as it, it just costs $22,000 per month just to keep the lights on. And then for every additional widget that you make, it costs you an extra $7. So let's suppose that the widget makes 10,000, the factory makes 10,000 widgets per month. And we want to understand how much does each widget really cost us? Okay. Now, there are two people working at the factory that gives two very different answers. Alice says, you know what? Our total cost is C of 10,000. So we plug 10,000 into our formula. 22,000 plus 7 times 10,000 is 92,000. It's costing us $92,000 to make 10,000 widgets, so the cost per widget must be $9.20. Seems reasonable. On the other hand, Bob argues that we really shouldn't cost count the 22,000, because you have to pay the 22,000 no matter how many widgets you're making. That's a fixed cost. Every additional widget only costs us $7. So according to Alice, the cost per, for a widget is $9.20. According to Bob, the cost of each widget is $7. Who's right? Well, the answer is that they're both right, except they're talking about two different things. Alice is talking about an average cost. The average cost is the total cost divided by how many things you're making. And that's $9.20. Bob is talking about the marginal cost. A marginal cost is a derivative. We're used to taking derivatives with respect to time and saying that's a rate of change. This is a derivative with respect to how many widgets we're making. And it's $7. Now, if you plot the cost curve, if you plot what is the cost of making widgets as a function of how many widgets there are, what Bob is saying is, what's the derivative right here? What's the slope of this line? And the slope is 7. At this point, every additional widget costs us $7. What Alice is doing is she's saying, what's the total cost, that's 92K, divided by the total production, 10,000. Geometrically, what she's doing is figuring out the slope of this line. They're different numbers. They have different uses. So let's suppose that widgets sell for $9. If you were managing the factory, what would you do? Well, Alice says, you know what? Our average cost is more than $9, and we're only selling widgets for $9. We're losing money. We're losing 20 cents on every widget. We're better off just closing the factory. Bob says the marginal cost is $7. Every widget costs $7 to make. But we can sell them for $9. So every extra widget we make is going to bring in a net of $2. What we really want to do is increase production. Now again, I didn't tell you which of these two were right because in some sense, they're both right. What Alice is doing is Alice is comparing our current situation where we make 10,000 to shutting the factory down and having no production and no costs. And her analysis correctly says that zero is better than 10,000. But it doesn't say anything about what 11,000 or 9,000 or 15,000. Bob's analysis is comparing what happens at 10,000 to what happens close to 10,000, because that's what derivatives do. They give you a rate of change, and they tell you what's happening nearby. And his analysis says, you know what? 10,001 is $2 better than 10,000, and 10,000 is $2 better than 9,999. So he says we can do better than 10,000 by increasing production. And his analysis is good whenever our production value is close to 10,000. So 
if whenever you're interested in small changes, you want to look at the marginal costs and marginal profit and marginal revenue. Whenever you're thinking about big changes, then maybe you should think about average cost. Okay. Now, we can also talk about marginal revenue and marginal profit. In general, if we've got the cost function, and you know, in our example, it was a simple linear function, but usually it's more complicated than that. And we have our revenue, and then our profit is going to be our revenue minus our costs. And for all of these, you can take the marginal profit, that's the derivative of the profit. The marginal revenue is the derivative of the revenue. The marginal cost is the derivative of the cost. And the way we think about the marginal things is the derivative is roughly, we could do a difference. We could take c of x plus 1 minus c of x divided by x plus 1 minus 1. That's c of x plus 1 minus c of x divided by 1. Whoops. And you can think of that as that's approximately the extra cost of one more widget. And the uh, r prime is the extra cost revenue of one more widget. And the difference is the extra profit of one more widget. Whenever the marginal profit is positive, you can make more money by making more widgets. If the marginal profit is negative, you can make more money by reducing your level. So the marginal costs and revenues and profits tell you what direction you want to shift production. It doesn't tell you how much, but it tells you which direction you want to go.